Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. I'm Andy and this is Let's Play on Buy a Real Farm. So we are currently cultivating. Um, I actually did a calculation on uh, what sort of setup I would have. I was looking at getting a um, power harrow, which would be, I wouldn't have to have first the cultivator and then this sort of leveler, roller thingy. Uh, so I was thinking about that. Um, the thing about the harrow is what it, it goes like maximum 8 kilometers per hour, and which is understandable. It will leave the, seed, uh, the soil bed perfectly for seeding afterwards, so that's really cool. Um, and I have 60 seven acres or oh, uh, 71 I guess I grow something um, acres of land so it would take about 14 hours or so to power harrow all the soil um, this goes at 13 kilometers per hour um, it would take me about 10 and a half hours to do the land twice at that speed and this width because this is 10 meters wide and the power harrow was 6 meters wide which was quite a wide harrow anyway so but there's a difference so it w I wouldn't it wouldn't go fast it only the difference would be I would make one pass but since I'm guessing it would pretty much use the same amount of fuel maybe maybe slightly more actually and 14 hours is more than 10 and a half hours so uh, I would actually use more fuel and have to do two p two we have to do one slow pass instead of two fast passes so for our farm it wasn't economical economically feasible or dependable to do this twice so I'll be running it this way so you can see I'm cultivating ground which has been cultivated so you can't see a difference I'm trying to keep track of where I've been. In real life you probably have some sort of a small differences in the soil after you run it over with the roller once more so you will see where you've been. Um, I can't, I, I don't have that so I have to sort of fake it or try to remember where I've been. I have this field left and one more field left to cultivate a second time before planting. So if you remember we ran a cultivator over it, so we're pretending that this is sort of a little bit um, soil is but not not as smooth as it needs to be, so that's why I'm running this cultivator over it again, or roller to to s divide the small soil pieces into finer soil pieces so we can plant. We have a direct seeder so it's not a big issue but uh, well I have good soil compaction. I'm going to plant a few fields of potatoes also so that's why I want to have a pretty good soil it's bed, seed bed, or soil bed, seed, seed bed, seed bed I guess. Also going to run and fertilize our fields once more and then it's time to plant so That's good. We're getting close to planting. I like this. This is part of so Sopemo pack. Sopemo pack. I haven't found this in real life, so maybe it's just made up. Um, it made up sort of cultivator, but it works nice. Ti 10 meters wide. It wasn't too expensive. The power hero, which was 6 meters, would cost me about a couple of grand more than this so, which is okay uh, it's cool if it had sort of meant that we were doing we're saving time uh, would be okay I think We don't know that, so you could tell a little bit where I've been driving with this. <sighs> what 
LS I updated a lot of software. The GP uh, guidance steering is mod, the, the re realistic vehicle mod, uh, that sort of stuff. Small, small other, but other ones. And the reason for that was that I updated my farming simulator uh, base game for to 1.6. Or it's, if it's 1.6.1, I don't remember. Remember exactly, but one of those. 1.6, I think. Um, and that meant I kind of suddenly could really update some of the mods. I, I tried updating them, updating them before, but they meant led to the game basically crashing, so. That wasn't too good. I don't know how much this front roller gets compacted by the rear tires. Seems like you would like these on the rear, but I can't put them there, so. Nice setup, though. You know, I, I like. I tried setting it up in the rear. I can't get it to work there. So I don't know what the idea behind this. It's, it's probably a little silly. Some sort of roller with which you could put on the rear or the tractor would probably be better. Be better. software which means I can do stuff like that just sort of uh, press one button and it does everything I wanted to uh, what else uh, still have some money we we are here so need to get to the first here when we before we get the second batch of chickens so we'll probably plant it and done before we get to that that's gonna be start of summer and then around that during that period and then we'll get to this one here so we we'll have four batches of chickens during during our year still haven't looked up how you would go about if you can use the wheat I need to check that out if you can grow wheat and sort of being almost ecological bef and that could be used for the chickens otherwise you need to buy another year of chicken food Which is fair enough I want to try the planter also because I want to plant out the try out the pl proceed plant part of the planter that could be interesting I'm going to look into how wide I, I have a fertilizer bird that's 40 it's 42 meter wide tracks and my access oh if you're under 36 that's pretty okay and then we have my um, weeder which is 12 meters there's a 15.2 meters which we could probably get if we wanted to Um, if 
view this. But still 15 over 30 meters, so I don't know if this will be enough. Then we need to close down. We have run tram lines of 15 meters, but we'll still be able to use the fertilized spreader though. How wide? You can set that up. I think it runs to 38 meters. <coughs> it could run at 24, which would be if we ran, if we ran still ran the 12 meter uh, weeder, we could run um, 12 meter tram lines, and then we could have every second second one would be used for spreading fertilizer. That could work. Absolutely. That could. We're gonna. I think I want to run a couple of tri fields uh, this year with different tram lines. I uh, have a bunch of fields, so I can do that. I wonder if you can put it, uh, put potato tram lines too. So if I run one with 12 meter width and one with 36 meter width, no, actually one with 15 meters, and one with 36. Because wait, we got quite a lot of overlapping if we ran. If we ran um, 30, 15 meters width. Yeah, because we get like six meters every eight meters every. Hmm. I wonder what was spray was. I have a hard sprayer. Is this this was thirty six meters? So we run thirty meters. We don't run that. It's not an issue though. I'll run a, I'll, I'll run a couple of different tram light with anyway. To see how we get this to work. Um, actually, can you see where I've been? Because I think that tram line went this way, the cultivating went this way, so there's a slight difference between that row and this row I'm at currently. Can see it more clear from the outside. And there is a difference in the direction of uh, cultivating. So, I guess if I wanted, I could probably tell where I've been. Or oh, have a GPS, so I might also use it. Just this one, and then one more field, and then the fertilizing, and then we'll be done. Actually, I'm gonna go fertilize a bit so we can look at that too. So, I got the fertilizer spreader on this one. I took off the front loader attachment, added a weight because it was too back heavy otherwise. So, what I've been doing is used auto drive have my course mapped here so I could spread fertilizer so this is about I think 36 meters or so, so it's like two meter overlap but it's okay Because if we weed with, with this distance, we won't weed all the places we need. There's a bump there in the ground, maybe we should do something about that. Um. 
it's good when two tractors set up so I can do several things at the same time. I think in real life, it, uh, in the hill there where it slowed down, it would spread less fertilizer. Just the good, the new fertilizer spreader actually adapt to what sort of speed you're running at, so they would adapt, change that. One hour on this tractor, yay! Something is bouncing a lot. around this cross uh, there's always a piece of land I missed there so I need to go back and get that we'll do that once we cover this area here area here tractor is a nice tractor. This implement is probably a little bit too heavy. <laughs> I'm guessing one of the problems with driving in the same place always is sort of soil compaction. compaction. Um, it's hard to do anything about it. I think if you want to spread, I don't know how people solve that in real life. How do you do? How do you move the soil compaction stuff around? I think using different crops, rotating in crops seems a really important factor in reducing soil compaction. If you look at the YouTube videos I look at. Uh, I have no idea, I'm not a farmer, so as usual, don't quote me on anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but it seems one thing you could do. This is a nice tractor. I like the fact that it sloped around the bonnet there, which it seems like it looks a lot like uh, some of the massy tractors, at least the bonnet. But I don't know, it's a good idea. I guess you would rip off good ideas. It's kind of interesting which ideas are, which you can actually, which ideas are original ideas, so you couldn't use them and which are you can steal them and what ideas aren't original ideas well I think that's interesting which is an original idea and which isn't now I usually cut across here let's fertilize that field so this field is next to it. Right to the beginning. So I have this way of running in this field. So actually I can do this one. This piece where I cut across here it seems a possible thing to do. Start the fertilizer uh, spreader and we'll run across here.
So I think this this auto drive course is, has been a really good way of fertilizing. In a way, I'm not sure. I mean, we should run the um, the weeder at a stage where it doesn't matter. If I don't need tram lines basically because I'm going to run over the truck crops. And they're not going to get destroyed. So um, thinking maybe we don't need tram lines for that. We should probably set up tram lines for this sort of route. Which I'm a little, I don't really know how to do that. Well, I, I guess I knew how to do it, but I'm going to try it out on a couple of fields, see. Maybe that's how I should do it. I shouldn't do the experiment with 12 meters and that sort of stuff because we won't run it that anyway. Because we're not, because we're running a weeder. <laughs> so, this is what we do. Spread fertilizer. Over and over again. A lot of fertilizer. So the idea of going ecological is that we are buying so the chicken fertilizer pellets uh, or some other organic or uh, has to be something that's not produced by a say um, it can't be produced uh, petroleum based I guess has to be some sort of renewable source of um, fertilizer so I'm thinking chicken poo is probably good I think there are chicken pellets which you can spread in this manner, so it's not totally unrealistic spreading it li like this. <coughs> Don't know if you would spread. I mean, if if you look at the lawn and stuff, you would spread fertilizer when before it's raining or when it's raining so it would dissolve and go into the ground here we're not doing that oh, I really need to level this one out too I wonder if I can do that in an easy way um, but I think here in agriculture well, I guess in some ways you probably spread it before rain and stuff that's also but I mean um, in this case I mean we're just spreading it and then we're going to plant on it, so it's going to be sort of a little bit brought into the ground anyway. Whether it's raining or not. I usually miss like no actually I don't think I missed that too much. A little piece in the middle. But it was a small, small, small tri triangle this time, so I'm not gonna go back for it. So I don't know if I should do oh we'll see if we can do the potatoes. These fields will also. Even though I think they're gonna leave them fallow, so oh, I could I'll do these also. So out of this route I drive. We run this route quite a lot on these fields. That's a nice route. So these uh, this was previously potatoes. We need to process this somehow. So we need to process this uh, soil in some way. That's where the power harrow would probably come in handy. I think the cultivator will work too. Not that totally hard. Trying to unlock my daughter's phone. Where the software so it locks itself at uh, certain hours.
means the that means the clock is seven ten. <coughs> Sorry about the sneezing. This little area over here we need to spread on also and this one so still want to run as little as possible over the areas where we've already run over. to do well this is this for this episode anyway just cultivating last bit and then fertilizing and then hopefully on the next time around we'll be able to um, we'll be able to run around here to get this little barrier there um, next time around we'll be able to seed on the, the on the fields we're gonna seed on This one, look how that looked in a map. Yeah, so that's good for the next year. And then we'll just see them once. We'll cultivate it and prepare it, uh, fertilize it once, and then we can see these next year round. So that one is done. We need to do this, 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 this. No, not that because that's. In now we'll leave that one. We need to do this one, this one, and these ones. That's the those are left. I'm thinking probably that the fertilizer is a little bit more exp expensive than regular fertilizer. I should probably. Actually, remove. Or we'll say it's quite a lot more expensive. We'll remove twenty grand as an increase in cost for more um, expensive fertilizer. We should probably deduct the money we spent on regular food and stuff and insurance for our house and not our farm business, but our house and that sort of stuff. So last year was, I'm thinking about 200 grand, 250, probably sufficient. 25 grand, that's for the regular running costs of the family, so. So now we have a sort of a business which could hold itself so we can actually run our farm quite Nicely. So, it should be fun. some money with the chickens that's okay I'll earn some money it's not this this won't year won't be huge productively but it will um, we need to save money we have s we need to probably buy some seed this year we have the potatoes though we're gonna plant but we need seed and we will uh, we'll make some money Ton, but we'll, uh, I think we'll, the chickens will be pretty profitable at, as always so that will mean we will be able to buy build our silo which we plan to build uh, because the year after this 
we are going totally ecological and all the money we make will be we're gonna plant a pretty a pretty okay amount of wheat for our chickens but we're also gonna plant a lot of canola which yield a lot of money uh, that year if we may have a good pro good crop that is but ecological it would it not ecological economical it will be a really nice year uh, hopefully by any means because we'll make s quite a lot of money I don't know canola the, the production wise of ecological canola compared to regular canola canola maybe it's like half I don't know potatoes potatoes were, were half potatoes were still a pretty good uh, deal anyway but canola is I don't know I don't know how, how canola stacks up gonna run this field and maybe the next one before we refill So the 25 grand I deducted was for like car payments, insurance from the house, the family, um, maybe a little bit of vacation somewhere, all the phone bills or cell phones and that sort of stuff. Uh, so regular like stuff that costs for family. How many minutes we are up to? 32 minutes. I should stop recording here. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Andy. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share. And I will see you next time on um, By Real Farm. So about my voice. It's, I'm recording this in the morning, so it's a little bit soft. Any soft, uh, raggly, raggly, not, not a word. I, I can't find a word. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye bye.